Selecting the best or worst dog breeds for seniors can depend on various factors, including the senior's lifestyle, activity level, living situation, and personal preferences. When considering dog breeds that may not be the best choice for seniors, it's essential to think about breeds that tend to have high energy levels, demanding exercise needs, or challenging behaviors that can be difficult for older individuals to manage. That's why. In this video, we will share 30 best and worst dogs for seniors that will help you to choose the right breed for you. So, let's get started. Number one, Poodle. Thanks to their extraordinary intelligence and highly trainable nature, Poodles are good companion dogs for seniors. They form a strong bond with more than one member of their human families and are one of the best dogs for couples. They are sweet, gentle, and loving animals. Poodles need a daily walk, but are otherwise content to play or just lie on the couch. They don't shed, but they do need to be groomed every month or so. Number two, Shih Tzu. The Shih Tzu is the most frequently recommended dog for seniors. 10 out of 10 experts say this friendly lap dog makes a great companion when vigorous walks and large living accommodations are not an option anymore. The Shih Tzu is an affectionate dog who enjoys spending time with their pet parent, whether it's cuddling or accompanying them throughout the house. Plus, this breed is amiable and welcoming to other people and pets. Number three, Bichon Frise. Based on expert recommendations is the Bichon Frise. Bichon Frise are the best overall breed for seniors. These white powder puffs of a dog are known for their sweet and friendly nature and are perfect for seniors seeking easy companionship. They also make great pets for first-time dog owners. These low-maintenance pups aren't difficult to potty train and don't shed much, which is why they are one of the best dogs for older people. Number four, Greyhound. Known as the fastest dogs around, it may not seem like these dogs are the best choice for seniors. However, greyhounds are graceful dogs with a sweet temperament that make them as cuddly as smaller dogs. While they require large amounts of exercise, they're also content to be couch potatoes. In terms of exercise, these dogs do best when they can run at maximum speed. Instead of taking long daily walks, take these dogs to the dog park or another fenced area where they can chase a ball or frisbee. You can use a ball thrower to make throwing easier and exert less energy. Their grooming needs are extremely low thanks to a short coat. Number five, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. If you are looking for one of the best dogs for older people, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels should be high on your list. It's easy to fall in love with their big eyes and long ears. And Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, in turn, like nothing more than to kiss and cuddle with their owners. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels have an eager-to-please personality, which makes them easier to train. They also only require a moderate amount of exercise, which can be good for less active seniors. However, keep in mind that this dog breed loves to chase things. You'll need a long leash or a fenced yard. Number six, Havanese. Sweet, friendly, and eager for attention. Havanese make great companions for seniors who find themselves at home more. As a breed, Havaneses don't like to be alone for very long. These super social dogs crave affection and get along well with other breeds and strangers. Their high intelligence makes them easier to train and potty train. And at about 10 pounds, they are easy to carry. Walks might take a bit longer with Havanese's because they will want to try to say hi to everyone. But for seniors looking for sociability, this is not such a bad thing. That's why Havanese's are one of the best dogs for seniors. Number seven, Miniature Schnauzer. Miniature Schnauzers are one of the most adaptable breeds of dogs. Originally bred as a farm dog in Germany, Miniature Schnauzers are just as content living in an assisted living facility as they are roaming outdoors. Small, sturdy, hypoallergenic, and affectionate Miniature Schnauzers are great with, say, rambunctious grandchildren. And their calmness and attunement to the moods of humans make them excellent therapy animals. Miniature schnauzers both play hard and relax hard. They need a moderate amount of daily exercise, but are also good at simply lounging around while their owners watch TV or make dinner. Number eight, Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Pembroke Welsh Corgis are short but strong, and they are known for their herding abilities and agility. 
They were originally bred to herd cattle, and they have sturdy bodies and short, muscular legs. These loyal dogs love being active, are competent watchdogs, and are great with families and livestock. Corgis are also adaptable dogs that learn quickly and can be trained to be very obedient. Corgis enjoy human companionship and are great options for pets for seniors. Number nine, Beagle. For seniors who love being outdoors and would like an impetus to exercise more, Beagles are a good choice. Energetic, active, and sociable, Beagles love to play and take long walks. And unlike other smaller dogs, they don't require a ton of babysitting. They're fine content even, being left alone for a while. For seniors who don't love playing beautician, beagles with their short, dense wash-and-wear coat are a good choice. They are pretty low maintenance when it comes to grooming. Younger beagles require consistent exercise, so seniors might find adopting an older beagle a less physically demanding choice. Number 10, Pomeranian. A well-groomed Pomeranian looks like it just emerged from a Nikola Tesla experiment, which is to say there's a lot of energy in a small package here. Often called the ideal toy dog, Pomeranians can perform all sorts of tricks with proper training and are petite enough to be able to get sufficient exercise from indoor play. They're also at ease around the grandkids as long as the grandkids know they're not a toy. Number 11, Boston Terriers. Boston Terriers are sometimes stubborn and spirited and sometimes gentle and calm, depending on their moods and individual temperaments. They are good family dogs who are playful and expressive. Some Boston Terriers prefer one person over others, and some prefer seniors over others. While Boston Terriers are vigilant watchdogs, and they will bark when someone comes to the door, they are not usually aggressive. These dogs are not small lap dogs, but they are people friendly, and they enjoy taking walks outside, which makes them a great companion for seniors who take daily walks. Number 12, Lhasa Apso. Whether you want to wander around outside or just relax on the couch, Lhasa Apsos will happily join you. They are one of the calmest small dog breeds out there and do very well in apartments. Friendly and affectionate with their owners, these dogs are very protective, but don't bark without cause. They are more independent than many other breeds and can be left alone. Their long flowing coats do take a lot of grooming. Number 13, Balinese. Another cuddly, fluffy white dog, the Balinese is playful, smart, and easy to train. These animals worship their owners and shadow them everywhere. Not super active, Balinese dogs don't need much exercise and are perfectly willing to be couch potatoes, so long as they can stay near you. They are calm and quiet and adapt well to all types of living spaces. They must be bathed and groomed regularly to keep their curly locks in good condition. Now, let's talk about 15 worst dog breed for seniors that you should never get. Number one, German Shepherd. They are highly energetic, shed a lot, are more aggressive, need regular brushing, have large dogs, and reject your dominance, which is all the worst for a senior, so they must avoid this dog on their list. Men who survive with a large dog have time for grooming, brushing, and other activities, so they must go with them comfortably. Number two, Rottweiler. Rottweilers are more popular than other dogs due to their protective instinct and powerful appearance. Seniors are not handling these dogs due to their muscular bodies and energy. If Rottweilers are aggressive, they damage by bites, so it was hard to handle in old age. Number three, Doberman Pinscher. This dog has a family pet and is a great protector due to their stamina. If you are a senior and thinking of adopting a Doberman, then drop your idea, because these dog breeds are worst for seniors due to high strength and energy, health problems, aggression, and danger for your surroundings that do not follow your command. Number four, Maltese. This breed is not for everyone, like seniors, because of high maintenance, extremely active, always running, and needs daily grooming. If you are a senior citizen but think about daily running and walking, this dog is best for you, and you are going for it. Number five, Chihuahua. Chihuahuas are very small, weighing not more than six pounds, but they have a loud bark that well makes up for their small size. The Chihuahua can be extremely difficult to house train, and many owners recommend keeping a litter box in the house just in case. However, 
These are smart dogs, and a chihuahua who receives proper training can excel in canine sports. Nonetheless, they often require too much attention for elderly dog owners. Chihuahuas can be spunky and stubborn, but also very affectionate. The Chihuahua does not shed much and only needs to be bathed every once in a while, but they require special attention to dental care, and they should be checked for heart problems and eye disease on a regular basis. Their high health needs are another reason to stay away from this breed for senior citizens. Number six, Siberian Husky. Dogs look very beautiful and highly energetic athletes, so senior citizens cannot feel comfortable with us because seniors do not run like athletes and regular exercise, play, and groom. Number seven, Great Dane. These dogs are highly intelligent, loyal, and sweet, but not for seniors because they are too large, need an energetic man to handle them, and are good hunters. Sometimes they easily hit a senior by knocking them over or misbehaving on a walk, so it is worst for seniors. Number eight, Labrador Retriever. They are medium-sized dogs and best for family pets, but they are excellent temperaments and need attention, space to run, and more shedding. So it is not good for seniors to control them while walking them. So all seniors avoid these dog breeds. Number nine, Golden Retriever. This dog has the most popular dog breed in America, but is not good for seniors because of their high energy, daily exercise, and large, which are all embarrassing for seniors. Still, you go for it when you easily control them while walking on a road. Many owners say this dog breed has the best choice for seniors, but I recommend that if you have limited senior citizens, go for this dog breed. Number 10. Pug. Pugs are small dogs that stand about 10 to 13 inches tall and weight 14 to 18 pounds. Their small size may make them seem like they'd be a great pet for an elderly person. But be aware that they require a higher level of maintenance than other breeds and they're particularly resistant to being trained. There are a number of reasons why a pug is a poor dog breed choice for a senior citizen. They have a lot of respiratory issues and other health problems, and they also tend to shed, which means they require higher than normal levels of maintenance. And pugs can be hard to housebreak, which means there could be a lot of cleanup for anyone who takes this breed as their companion animal. They are famous for being difficult to train. Number 11 Cocker Spaniel. Cocker Spaniels are great playmates for children, and they tend to make good lap dogs, but unfortunately their coat requires a lot of extra grooming and cleaning. Cocker Spaniels must be groomed on a regular basis, and it's not easy to make up for an appointment that was missed. This dog breed is also more prone to ear infections than other breeds, and thus owners must ensure that they take their dog for checkups regularly. Cocker Spaniels usually weigh between 20 and 30 pounds. They are very sporty and love to spend time exercising and playing. They're easier to train than some other dog breeds since they love to make their people proud. But still, they may become depressed if they are not given enough opportunities to run and play. Number 12. Chow Chow Chows weigh between 45 and 70 pounds, making them a medium-sized dog, yet they are also surprisingly powerful and strong. They are loving and affectionate with their owners and other loved ones, though they adopt a more reserved attitude with strangers. Some people describe the Chow Chow's temperament as complicated because these dogs can be finicky. The Chow Chow loves to be active, and owners are advised to walk these dogs up to four times a day. They are rather stubborn, but with proper training and puppyhood, they can grow up to be excellent companions. So their maintenance requirements, complex temperament, and stubbornness is likely to be too much for an elderly owner. Number 14. Boxer. Boxer has a quirky sense of humor. He is also devoted to his owner. However, he needs a lot of activities to keep his excitement in check. He also enjoys jumping here and there and falling asleep on your lap. An additional thing to avoid the boxer is that he is susceptible to a variety of ailments that can cost you a fortune in veterinary care. Number 15, English Bulldogs. English Bulldogs are big-hearted bruisers with the best of intentions. They have super affectionate personalities and form strong bonds with families. But English Bulldogs are solid muscle, and they're bigger than they realize. Bulldogs also drool a lot and require skinfold wiping. Tending to these areas can be time-consuming. 
They also face more health issues than other dogs, making vet costs rise considerably.